well, I must say it's not easy to do this. I mean, I've recorded a few video videos already, and well, let's just say there are things which happening, which might happen in your life, which are well unusual. Uh, other people do not experience those. But, yeah, you can't really talk about it, but you have to, because you cannot keep everything inside. And, well, I have one of those issues. Uh, I got asked specifically to record this video to clarify a few things, uh, talk about some matters. Um, it's yeah, where to start basically. Uh, it's been about f well four years since I started talking about an issue in public. My issue being well, something unusual, not something easily to relate to, I think. But issues is to just get started with, I guess. Um, <laughs> I well, problem is that the moment I start talking about it, it gets quite emotional. So <laughs> the problem is that uh, well, I was born in a different way. Not well, not a birth defect. I would not call it like that. Uh, what the way I was born is more that well, I am a twin in a single body. Basically, two embryos decided to merge in the womb, and one was male, one was female, and I am both. I am a frogite. Special. Not something, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's not something you see often. Um, I'm quite rare. <laughs> I'm unique almost. It shouldn't be too hard to deal with that. But uh, what happened to me after that? Well, first of all, I was raised as a boy. I started off with a male name here in the Netherlands. And it took 21 years before I realized on my own what is going on. That's from that moment on, back in 2005, uh, I thought, well, now I'm getting the help. I'm, I finally understand what is going on with me, and things will be fine. It has taken me seven years to realize why the Netherlands has not helped me on any point. The, um, the acronym for it, for the problem is uh, DSD, which stands for Disorder of Sexual Development. Yes, um, my condition is being acknowledged in the Netherlands, recognized as a birth defect. So, mm, there was never any inclination to examine my condition, tell me how the body was put together. The only option I got was SRS, sex reassignment surgery. And I was basically offered the option to transition to male or female. Yeah. To accomplish that, because I I had no inclination to go that route. For me, it was important to learn how my body is put together. So I want examinations. I want to know uh, what is my body like. And they thought I should be coaxed into accepting that I was had to be transsexual. So they falsified medical reports number of MRI scans that we made, one in Germany, in Germany back in 2007-2008 with secondary opinion. Two clinics have, have acknowledged that I am a hermaphrodite. In the Netherlands, they systematically deny that. Um, 
just over a month ago I have been to Germany for a surgery during which was discovered that what I had in terms of well testicles parent really testicles just underdeveloped not quite ovaries not quite um, testicles quite yeah undeveloped tissue mostly I also have a vagina which is underdeveloped and well I have a something that's is like a penis but it's not I have a prostate which is also underdeveloped so it's not quite a prostate and I don't really have much really because uh, on both sides male and female never fully developed from either side and that's how I ended up and that's what the Netherlands did not want to tell me there have been three four maybe five even uh, MRI reports here in the Netherlands it say that there is nothing special to be seen even though the surgeon in Germany easily saw it and also at the clinics as well and there was also a mosaic test performed in the Netherlands using one tissue which is not even realistic but that's just how it went and I've wasted seven years of my life um, on something completely futile I am trying to prepare a lawsuit against those hospitals at the moment because I have to do something with those seven years my intention is to use these seven years my experiences to sue those, those hospitals show the world via media the true face of the Netherlands because what, what happened here is not it's, it's not unique um, it's common for intersex people like me to be treated that way to be forced basically into surgery even worse are intersex children infants what a month as birth they if it's if they have an external externally visible um, yeah defect they receive genital surgery about a month after birth this is risky which is not not very nice for a child and usually the, well all too often the choice is wrong because they pick male and that child grows up feeling more female but sadly a lot of things have been removed permanently that's why lots, if not most, transsexuals are actually intersex. It's, well, it falls under a crime against humanity, you could say, because it's, it takes away our decision, our right to decide um, about our own bodies. We should know, we have the right to decide what our body should be like. What would make us happy? Not physicians, not our parents, just us. There is no reason why this should not happen, and yeah, that's what I'm trying to accomplish. That's what I'm going to try and accomplish. That's also why I uh, joined the Google Plus community, social network. I mean, um, 